Welcome back to Markets at Work Media. So we have WAC 100 that claims Drake sent a cease and desist to Kendrick Lamar so he cannot perform not like us at the Super Bowl. Say it ain't so, Drake. Say it ain't so. Yeah, he looking more like a... Oh, no. Nah. What he serve who? The Kendrick Lamar so he can't perform not like us at the oh, Super Bowl. Oh, no. That's that some whole ass it. serious. Where's that link? Audio up top. Audio up top. I think he should, though. He said all that stuff about him. That's on the national stage, though. Hey, rod or, or E, Fuck are you, you all available? I think he should. He said a bunch of shit about Kendrick, too. The nigga told the world that Kendrick's best work. friend is white. I'm at after work. Him. So what, what about, like, what, because his shit didn't stick and Kendrick's did? Is that what you say? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm saying that. Black 100 says that Drake served Kendrick Lamar a cease and desist in an attempt to stop him from performing not like us at the Super Bowl. There's a lot to unpack right here, but the most important one is, is this even true? And would Drake do something like that? Drake himself during the beef said that it was some fake stuff when he claimed that Kendrick Lamar had did a cease and desist on him for the Tupac uh, AI record that he did. You know, when he used Tupac uh, voice, he claimed that Kendrick Lamar had uh, coerced Tupac's estate to give him a cease and desist about that record. So he said that was fake. So why would he then turn and do it himself? Now I understand the Super Bowl is very, 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 very huge scale. Probably the hugest scale there is on planet Earth. And you wouldn't want people to be saying um, the accusations that Kendrick is saying about Drake on that level. Um, I guess I could see that. But then the third thing to unpack here is, do you think Kendrick would care? Like, do you think Kendrick is, even if that is all true, right? If the first things are true, that this is a, a season desist that was sent to him and Drake did file it. Do you think Kendrick is worried about the consequences of not following it? Oh, you don't want to probably going to stop at A minor and have the whole crowd singing and then he'll go to the next song. And let me tell you something. But if you think that the NFL and Rock Nation and a bunch of other people didn't get a whole bunch of legal letters yesterday from uh, people with ov uh, with owls as their, head, their, their stamp on, yeah. uh, like, oh, yeah. they have yeah, promised you. You're not going to call me a you're not no. calling me a following the Super Bowl. I guarantee you, you. Nope. the OVO people sent so many legal letters yesterday. See, I don't get this, Drake, man. You started this. You called out Kendrick, took him a while to get going, but now we got in full swing and you got your ass handed to you. Now, all of a sudden, you wanna cry foul. You wanna cry, please don't have him sing the song that's talking about me because I'm not that guy. Now, in the world of ditties, yeah, obviously you don't want to be associated with that kind of behavior, although some of his questionable behavior dealing with Millie Bobby Brown and a few different other people is questionable at least. Okay, so they're saying Drake sent a cease and desist to Kendrick Lamar to perform, that he can't perform not like us at the Super Bowl, which would be the final L, because when you're salty and trying to act unbothered and then you send a cease and desist, you're clearly bothered. Now, uh, his camp is saying they never sent it. Of course they're gonna say that. Who's gonna be like, yeah, I sent a cease and desist. That's like saying, yeah, I'm a bitch. <laughs> Out loud. Remember they said he was blocking them from coming and performing in Toronto. So listen, all of us that know Drake, <laughs> pretty much think Drake would do a cease and desist. That's something Drake would do. Okay. If they threaten them people for playing like not like us, yes, they sent a cease and desist so you can't do not like us at the Super Bowl in New Orleans. Even with that, we don't have hard facts to say, yeah, he is officially a PDF Fowler. Although, sound good in the song. But to send a cease and desist, bruh, that sounds like a real Drake bitch ass move. So what do you guys make of this situation is, WAC 100 telling the truth, and if he is telling the truth, do you feel like Drake got the right to do that considering he said a bunch of stuff in his own songs about Kendrick? He just took it on the chin and it is what it is. He went to the lyrics. But since Drake can't win with the lyrics, he gotta do stuff like this. 
Put your comments below. Let's talk about it. This is Marcus at Work Media, and I'm out this bitch.